I am the best park ranger. I have pride in this area. John Ray Uggen grew up in the village of Talafofo and grew up fishing in Talafofo Bay. His family raises and tames carabaos, a tradition that was passed down to him from his father and one that spans back for generations. He operates a small business, giving carabao rides at Talafofo Bay to tourists and passerbys. But he's being kicked out of the park unless he pays a vendor fee of $1,500, a fee he wouldn't mind paying if the park was maintained. It has no shelters, no tables or benches, no trash cans, and the restrooms are only open on the weekends. In fact, it was locked when we went there today. He built a hut for shelter. He cleans the area himself, picking up trash like this bag left behind by weekend parties. He fixed a restroom showerhead stopping a leak that had been spraying water for weeks. Here I am just trying to make ends meet, trying to promote our culture because I'm a proud Chamorro, but it's sad that our own parks and recs, our own people, our own senator are neglecting us Chamorros here on our island. While GVB has touted promoting Guam's unique culture as part of its offering as a destination to tourists, Ugin says he and others who do promote the culture to tourists have been given no support. See, uh, Mr. Tetauto from Yamadek, see Big John, they call him Big John, he's been operating his Carabao ecotourism out there. They have evicted him, they have uh, chased him out because he doesn't have a permit. That guy is promoting ecotourism. I feel gratified knowing that I'm promoting the culture because the Carabao in, the, in our culture is an icon. It was brought here in the 1600 from the Philippines during the Spanish era. It's been here over 400 years. He says he's just a self-employed small businessman who's just trying to make a simple living giving Carabao rides. Is this is how we're going to operate here on our own island, where outsiders are given the opportunity for a tax break, quality certificate, tax-free, and they're millionaires. Right now, there is buses, load of tourists who are business, just like me, I have a business license, that will unload tourists at Angel Santos Memorial Park, and they won't get charged, but they will go in there and do a, a photo shoot of the Lattice Stone and the areas and our park, and they're not being charged. When I ask Mike, can I bring my carbo over here and have the tourists uh, take a picture? They say no, because the carbo is my prop. They will charge me for having my carbo on the park when someone takes a picture. Come on, those guys are millionaires. I'm just trying to make ends meet. He asked Parks and Rec if he could adopt the park and keep it clean and maintained in exchange for being allowed to operate his carabao rides. But DPR told him that that wouldn't be possible. I will continue to fight and I will fight to all our people are given the opportunity, not regulated, not restricted on our own land.